Well, two on your side and our nonprofit partners at Investigative Post have spent a lot of time over the last few years looking into the spending of taxpayer money at Western Regional Off-Track Betting. And today, an audit from the State Controller's Office is backing up that reporting. The report out today shows OTB helped themselves to tickets for sporting events and concerts and that the CEO improperly used his agency assigned car for personal business. One audit found that a sweepstakes that offered patrons the chance to win bills and Sabres tickets put almost 550 tickets in the hands of OTB employees and possibly more. And joining us live right now is Phil Gambini, who's been covering this story tirelessly for Investigative Post. And Phil, just how does this report back up, maybe support what your findings over these last few years have been? And did you learn anything new here? Well, our reporting over the last few years, Kate, has turned up a lot of concerns and questions about OTB. What these reports do are uh, codify that th there's also issues in the eyes of the state's chief fiscal watchdog, the comptroller. And the controller said today that OTB needs to, quote, clean up its act. So what exactly does he want to see change specifically? And do you see that happening and maybe how soon? The controller wants OTB to tighten its internal controls. It wants it to keep better watch of its own. It's not so much a question of whether those are going to happen. Some of them are already in place, uh, as this audit's been going on for two years now. It's more a question of whether those changes are going to be effective, and that hinges on the leadership, which was liberally criticized in these reports. What were some of those criticisms, Phil? The, the, uh, the comptroller criticized OTB for not um, keeping track of who received tickets, for example, through a promotional program. There was uh, about 550 tickets that were unaccounted for. That's 10% of the, the program, valued at about $121,000, so a really significant amount of money. And this is kind of just one piece of a larger story here because this audit doesn't exactly end the scrutiny as far as OTB goes. No, in fact, we learned today that uh, the comptroller has referred the reception of, of this really deluxe health insurance package, a really Cadillac plan. The, that's been received by board members and officials at OTB for many years. That issue has been referred now to the New York State Attorney General's Taxpayer Protection Bureau. We've been chatting with Phil Gambini from our nonprofit partners at Investigative Post. You can see more of his work at investigativepost.org. Phil, thanks again for joining us. Thank you, Kate.